Hey, how's it going folks? E.T. here with another iMovie tutorial. This one's a little bit different because we're talking about some hardware here. I recently picked up a new LG Ultra Gear uh, 1440p monitor and I guess it's basically, what is it, UHD? So almost like 2K, not 4K. But it looks really awesome and it does have really fast refresh rate and HDR if you want to turn that on. But what I wanted to show you is what iMovie looks like when you're actually editing video. So let's go ahead and open up iMovie and click on a new project, a new movie. So what you'll see is a lot of the um, menus, fonts, and buttons are actually pretty small to the, you know, to the eye compared to a 1080p. But the good thing is um, anything else in here, we can actually increase the size of, of pretty much everything we need to in the UI and the things that you use. So for example, timeline here, let's drop a video here. So for example, you can shorten and lengthen the timeline. You can actually create uh, a lot larger, easier to see, you know, video. Um, you do have a lot more real estate down here that you can, you know, you can increase the size of your screen here or decrease it depending on, on your style of editing. I kind of like, like a middle of the road. I actually edit mostly here, but I, I want to be able to see here. Um, and I do like my clips small. Some people actually like really, really tiny clips like that because I want to actually see the waveform. And that's how I normally do my editing. I know exactly where my pause is, where I'm talking, if I coughed or if I sneezed. You know, my initial cuts are done here using the uh, audio waveform. And then after I'll do my fine tuning with uh, looking at the screen here. But anyways, I thought it'd be kind of cool to show you what editing using a 1440p monitor, which is basically 2K-ish. And I kind of like this monitor. It's It looks really crispy. Colors are good for me. I like, you know, watching things that are kind of saturated. I do like HDR some of the time. So you can switch that on and off depending on what you're doing. But yeah, the price was not too bad. And um, I've been basically milking my old 1080p monitors for years now. They were just old, the colors were getting faded, so it was time for me to do a little upgrade on my monitor. And I uh, picked it up. Alrighty, I think that's it for today's video. I wanna thank everybody for watching, and as usual, don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, and all that jazz. Peace and aloha.